Blade shoes. Yep. Jeez. <laughs> Man, now Teju's gonna be going in with his Bayonetta, which has caused so many problems in New Jersey. And not to say that, you know, he hasn't left. And then decided to say, hey, I'm gonna make more problems outside. A Wi Fi warrior at heart, of course. But let's see what he can do against Mouse who, again, has been super consistent in Fusion. Of course, getting a lot of top eights, Ooh. a lot of single digit placements as well. Yeah, and that scoop right there with the Witch Twist, that's what I was kind of talking about. Like, at mm. least Pikachu being able to try to pancake under things. I think Bayonetta's hitboxes are good enough in order to just kind of scoop it up on there, which is a huge, actually. Like, important thing to have when fighting against, like, low-profile characters like mm. Pikachu, and as well as the threat of Witch Time against the projectiles. Ah. That's the early one. That was such a good timing, but unfortunately just missed the opportunity. The so grab Team Queen to go ahead and go back on here. Knows that the safety mouse rat, knowing that you just can't run to the up tilt. That's a back. That, that's a mouse trap. Like, don't go into that one. <laughs> you don't want to get that little bit of cheese. It's going to hurt you real bad. Yeah, and you were talking about it earlier at the beginning of the set, was that how Witch Twist is going to be so crucial when it comes to recovering because it combats and really negates all these T-Jolts. Uh, and it's, it's you're seeing it clearly right now, Mouse Rat getting a grab, looking for the Thunder, not going to connect it, but the thing is with, with, with Girly Team Queen is how well and how consistent he is at hitting up tilt into the back air. And it's crazy because that is a huge combo killer. <laughs> That's a huge combo in there, and a stock ender as well. And I think the number one problem we're seeing right now that I was worried about in this matchup is that Bayou can lay the damage down, but finishing it is a different story if you can't get the up tilt into back air. And Mouse Red has been able to like kind of claw back, getting an 88%, and even a dash attack. Ooh, wow. Whoa! Great. That DI. Yeah, that was real scary, Life? but trying to go Ooh. for something else on there. Gets a little bit of damage, most of them resetting back. Oh no, the oh, bat went uh, in. That might be it. Wow, yep. almost living right there, but Teju's finally finding that kill. No, it's a very, very good point that you mentioned, because Bayonetta tends to struggle to kill, even though, you know, you have ABKs, which time uh, into forward smashes and all that. Even a really, really strong jab, but it doesn't matter if you can't hit it. And Mouse Rat doing a good job playing defensively as much as oh, possible. Oh, no. Oh, the I recovery! Love I love that from Mouse Rats. Oh, my I God! Don't, I, don't, I don't like that. I don't like that. <laughs> The I complete that one I don't love that one. Yeah. Not the best. Great parry game. Instant back air. Love that good little reactions. And a dash wow. attack. Skull bash. No, that's actually the side B. Dash attack should be called skull bash. It's way better. But it is. We'll be able to get it on there and slipping away. Dash attack. Oh, oh. wow. Extensive Ooh. board. Should be able to make it back, though. Yeah. Oh, no. Wow. Oh, oh. no. Oh! Air dodging there. Actually cost it, Tejuice. That stock, the mouse rat, gonna, in, in this economy, uh -oh. you take those. Yep. I mean, I think one of the biggest problems in this matchup is like being vulnerable to games. I said that it would be hard, not saying it was impossible. And mouse rat showing exactly how it's done with that little jab, being able to get that damage down almost. The STM was almost good enough, but oh look gosh. at this aggression. <gasps> oh no. Oh, oh. oh. oh he thought Great it was DI. smash. Yeah, very, very good DI and SDI to escape that. Huge combo. And that's what a lot of people don't really do, even though they're like complaining about how busted Bayonetta is. Just SDI and then hope and pray that you get out. Now Strat, gonna try and oh, find no. an opening. Oh. That within was not enough to escape all those multi hits. Trying to get a call out, gets a what downer. A tech? Excellent tech time by Tejuice. No, both Tejuice grabbing it the wrong way. Goes for the confirm. Wow, Thunder did not connect. So resetting back into this lead situation. I don't know what the hell that read was, but gonna go ahead and it. get the dash attack again. Here's the problem. You can't do those bat withins, but it's a stale on those dash attacks. So Teju is surviving out on there, trying to get land back onto the stage. Not the biggest punish, however. So Mouse Rat, once again, having Bayo cornered with so much stall. Excellent read, but the DI is good enough. Wrong direction. All right. This is where Mouser has to play super careful. Can't allow one conversion off from Tejus missing the grab. Don't let, don't let him get a witch twist, okay? Yeah. It's time. Uh oh. Is your SDI good enough? Started. That's a lot of rage. <gasps> oh, great stuff getting out. Oh, you're dead. Yup. Yep. What a comeback from Mouse Rat. Oh my gosh. 
I think it was an SDI... SDI away in town? Was good enough. Yeah. To try, I think I think Tay tried to go for the, the triple fair finish, but... Fortunately, it did not connect great stuff on there. Got real scary, though. Oof. Yeah, very questionable at some points, you know, these witch times, but... When you're in last stock hit scenarios like that, and you yeah, have to risk it all... Let me see this one more time. Yeah, great SDI avoiding the fair for one, two, three, and just able to fastball old beat Tay down as well as the fact that Bale's gonna have some lag yeah. landing on there. So it's gonna be a small battlefield as the counter pick. I'll see I how also, this set's getting. I also wondered if Teju's held A too much because you know the 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 bullets came out. So and that and that is, you know, um, symbolizing that Teju's is holding A. Mm -hmm. So definitely a mistake that you gotta make now. You can't make later. Especially against a character like Pikachu, and already Mouserat sending a girly team queen off stage and doing so much more damage. Oh wow, that's Ooh. the Wi-Fi. That's the Wi-Fi. That Rolls is the Wi-Fi. Grab gets it on there. Wow, able to actually get the what? Where did everyone just go? That was like a <laughs> vacuum, like hitbox, a wind box of some sort that just sent flying off of them there. But the percentages is favoring Mouserat. Continue on board. Look at this huge lead already formed up. Teju's got to find someone to get it back on there. Even the perfectly spaced smash attack is making Teju's a little scared to even contest. Yeah, one one big habit that I'm seeing Teju's really go for a lot is these air dodges going back into Sage or maybe, you know, back to ledge onto platform. Mouserat has been catching this um, a lot. And so Teju's has to be a little bit more careful with how he mixes up his recoveries. And he can't hang on to ledge for that long. Mouserat, oh, Dead. what a forward air. One of those, and someone said, seeing two characters that teleport across the screen and cheese each other is something. Yes, this is literally a Marvel vs. Capcom matchup. Like, they're both da air dashing in the air, <laughs> moving around, trying to get their combo sequence started. And unfortunately, that's kind of how it goes. But one of them is able to benefit a lot more than the other. Oh. And I feel like that Mouse Red is doing a fantastic job on there, even trading with their oh contesting my God. Excellent stuff, and he's <gasps> the wrong way. Look at what? that SDI, no? I know, that is absolutely crazy for Mouse Red. His survivability against uh teju is really coming down to if he can sdi these combos and he's been doing it perfectly every single time and now you're seeing mouse rat kind of slow the pace down of this match realizing that he has quite the lead oh we're not gonna lose much yeah. able to come back on the stage again it's getting real difficult for tay to try to follow like the sdi and di and just trying to finish off the wow stop. excellent catch with that bear take 50 percent you know that's just the pikachu tax you're happy with taking that as well trying to go ahead and stall on the ledge to avoid that lag. I do like it. Mouse Red wow. just knows that it's the thing. Like, even when Bayo is like grabbing onto ledges and such like that, it's so dangerous to contest it. Oh. Excellent combo sequence. Can you escape out of this one? No. The one, two, three, it should not kill at this point. But that's so much damage. Excellent witch time. Can Jeez. you finish it off on there? Yes, oh you my can. god. Hit the slay button indeed, Tay Juice. <laughs> and that's just all you need. Right with Bayonetta, it's just that opening and really, really good reads overall. Just getting that witch time off, get that kill, and already just getting more damage. All of a sudden, this SDI, I feel like Teju has kind of adapted to the way the Mouse Rat, you know, escapes all these combos potentially. Ooh. Oh my Spacey? god. Spacey? That was beautiful. And there we go, finishes off with the Nair following the SDI. I love that. And the floater. Love Steph it. Curry in this. <laughs> oh my goodness. What, what turned on? What is. I don't know what happened with with uh, with uh, Tejus, but he has been taking damage for like 30 minutes, not mm -hmm. minutes, seconds. Oops, my bad. Oh, 30 minutes. Well, it's not a John number set, so don't worry about that one. <laughs> don't need to worry about that at all. Once again, just using the floaters with that fair, excellent tech chase by Mouse Rat, but trying to contest those 80 Ks is not healthy for you, my friend. Almost read it with that fair, but Tejus surviving out on there. Mouse Rat trying to finish the job. Oh. He'll slide. The second one not going to connect after the first so mouse trying to find some way to do it in the back foot and a whole stock down and a simple maybe like a forward throw or a back just be able to finish it off on their excellent way too much percent so you know the sds and DIs are getting even better can you lend the confirm no oh. wasn't able to read that di from from girly team queen but he, we talked about it earlier how this is the percentage where it's going to be so difficult for tejus to find this kill and oh no, I thought he was gonna go for that for that one, two, three, off stage, getting the witch time. Oh, wants to grab so bad, it's gonna be the down throw, knowing that the up throw won't kill at all. And like you said earlier, 
it's gonna be hard to kill. And that's something that Mouse Rat can take advantage of. That could have been a bigger punish, and the kill won't happen because of it. So Mouse Rat once again stacking up, almost at max rage, by the way. Oh! Tries to go for it. Oh! Attack as well! My goodness, there's some lag here! Tries to cover it under the Witch Time. Forced to bring it out there to try to survive, but Mouse Rat does not bite on that bait. So now all of a sudden, it's getting real dangerous. Tay just needs like a forward throw or a solid hit. And Mouse Rat playing so patient. Look at this. Yeah, but speaking of patient, let's look at the time here. We're about to <gasps> enter two minutes left of this. You're not going to die there, but very, very close. Oh, man. Oh, as dead. well. The ladder hits of it. Whoa! It no. was the edge cancel that caused it. And oh, gets that might the be grab it. as well. Gets stomped on their... Ew, that looked disgusting. <laughs> But that's, those are the scenarios that Mouse Rat's going to be looking for. Just building up that rage, knowing that Tejuice, despite how consistent he was in that second game, with all those combos, especially that second stock, because, oh my god, that was crazy. But getting that down throw really was the only option he had to kill there. And when you limit Bayonetta down to just like one or two options, that's when you can start you know, cooking. That's when you can start making this comeback. But a few mistakes like we saw there and just holding onto shield. Really, really good punish from Tejuice, but 1-1 one, one a piece between both of these guys. Game three, I wonder where they go though. Dude, that looks crazy. That, that's like the only that's like the only words I have. That combo sequence on the right side oh, was, was fantastic so as PS2. Alright, I like this because it allows Mouse Rat to have more space on, on, on the ground to be able to send out this T-Jill. It's not really letting Pages get, you know, a lot of combos, or at least approach. Oh, oh. but it doesn't matter because mm -hmm. Tejus reading this SDI and just ending these combos doesn't want to overextend because the moment you overextend, you give Mouse Rat that opportunity to get lots of damage off. <laughs> and planking on right. the ledge as well, and Mouse Rat knows that it's really hard to contest Bayo. Malka is caught the jump though. Atagius will be able to go ahead and safely get back on that stage. The Mouse Rat trying to continue that corner pressure, but instead the trade gonna break him out and set back into the neutral. Both these players trying to fish for something. A combo sequence finally does land. It's gonna be a simple one as Tejus continues to damage. But now you're in the prime up tilt into back air. And if you feel careful, back and wow, no up tilt needed. A rare, a raw, I should say, heal to the face. And that is a huge lead in favor. And look at that trade sequence ending in a combo. That's what Tejus has been benefiting off of so much. These trades from Mouse Rat. Of course, with bats within end witch time, it's like you have so much leeway. And Mouse Rat, on the back burner, you gotta be careful because you're doing well con keeping Tejus off stage and trying to condition with these T jolts, but you just let him come back every single time. So there has to be a change of game plan, especially when Tejus has been jumping off of ledge so much. Yep. Gets it on there and has to roll away, seeing that potentially could be grabbed. Great little sequence there. I think maybe could have tech them there, but chase down too much lag, so the down tail is way too close. We'll be punished out there. Mouse Rat trying to find a way to even out their desperate dash attack, but at this percent, it's not even close to killing as yep, Tay. Tay just kind of sitting back saying, I'm gonna go ahead and be nice and comfortable. Wow, that was a very scary bear being thrown out. That could have just obliterated Mouse Rat's stock, but instead, the lead continuing on forward, Tejus is just not letting go. That's what, you have to do that against Pikachu. Like the moment you approach, and we saw that earlier, right, with Sinister and Aquaze, is that when you play so close to Pikachu, nice. all you oh, did that shit. I'm not going for the F Smash, and that's just really, really good character knowledge from Tejus knowing that the F Smash was going to come out. But it's the fact that Mouse Rat has not been allowed, you know, any time to get a combo off or even a kill. This is what's making this so difficult for Tejus because we know that Bayonetta can't really kill that much. But the fact that he has limited Mouse Rat to just playing the waiting game is absolutely crazy. Mm hmm. And it's desperation as well. That's oh, gonna be dead. a kill. Yep. Got it. No SDI in the world's gonna save you from that one. And as the stock lead continues on forward, the desperation in Mouse Rat. Corner Rat's gonna fight back, but I'm not too sure when it's a witch involved. Oh no. boy. And you can see Mouse Rat's trying to, you know, go for these retreating aerials, not wanting to take any more damage while also dishing out some of his own. But it just oh no! Oh no! That's what Back happens here. when you kind of autopilot those like out of shield options. Gets the mm -hmm. dash attack though, so we'll be able to even it up. 
Still possible. We need Definitely. the miracle stock to work with it, but Tejas has been playing so well. It's kind of hard. Wow, it even it was able to beat out the quick attack before it came out on there, and I love to trying to extend the combo a little more, but Red SDI and Mouse right now get themselves out of this situation. He's doing his best. And Tejus with this defensive play with these aerials make it so difficult to approach without taking some at least ship damage. Yeah, but that's the good thing with Pikachu is that he has quick attack to be able to kind of just sift through the stage. And also, you know, it's an active hitbox as well, so it could definitely... Uh-oh. No, you're no, not going to die. Kill. It's still good damage for Tejus. But yeah, mm -hmm. no, having quick attack is definitely going to help Mousrat approach, but really no again no opportunity no opening whatsoever for mouse rise he just keeps getting peppered by these witch twists and these aerials mm -hmm. and playing over the platforms is so good mm -hmm. by tejus kind of avoiding out everything and now mouse rat finds someone to close it out and there here comes a throw maybe you can get something started with it gets a one and okay. two the play to try to make it happen oh, desperation days. turns into a potential opportunity Waiting for the air dodge, but no, will not get rewarded. Instead, it's going to be a dash attack. Forced off onto the right side. Mouse rat, oh, yes, connects. No. Potential opportunity. Nope. Oh, wow. Yeah, I oh, think it's going to be dead. Boom, boom, boom. Just read it. Nice. Red mouse rat so hard with that quick attack, knowing exactly it was gonna happen. Mm -hmm. My goodness. But yeah, but when you're at a deficit like that, you have to go, you know, all in. Got a high risk, high reward, but again like we saw earlier that reward just not coming out for mouse Rat, however quite the set that was really really fun <laughs> to watch i'm not gonna lie of course you know the story of the whole thing uh where mouse rat at first the first game was kind of you know a little bit interesting because both the guys like well i believe mouse rat was the only one the sd and then tejus losing that stock early for mouse rat to get that win but then you saw the download you saw the moment that mouse rat lost that that second stock in that second game, it was just something clicked in Tejus. And then all of a sudden, he's hitting all of these consistent combos. And we're seeing earlier that that uh, combo on the right, which, of course, this one didn't kill, but the follow-up with the Witch Time. And oh. there, that's that's when T-Jolts become so detrimental. And it's so difficult because you want to recover with that move. And it's very, very nice. But Banda is like, nah, screw you. What a tech. Oh my god, that was crazy. Yeah. I mean, Rolling Thunder is usually a great way for Pikachu to kind of approach, mm -hmm. but the problem is that when you have witch, when you have witch time, that's able to kind of put you in that situation if you're just remotely close, and as well as the fact that the Jolt travels so slow. Yeah. So basically, it's in line with Pikachu. So you just have to be so careful about it. And Tejus just kind of took full advantage of it. Real good stuff. And I don't know, Tejus from game one and after two and three, I did not recognize. I thought I was just a different player. <laughs> <laughs> the download was complete, and I mean, the execution came through so well for Tejus. Not even going for the ABK there, just going for the tried and true. But, but quite a 2-1 win. Tejus going to make it into the next round. Whoever has to deal with Mousetrap, good luck. <coughs> but they are going to play... No! It's the Bayonetta Ditto for top 8 as Biscotto and Tejus play for that coveted top 8 in Winterside. So... Unfortunately, um, we're going to have to see that a little bit later as we are going to go on a break. I don't know if we have ads or not, but if we do, um, we roll them. If not, we're going to see you guys in five minutes. Oh, no. Collision. Yay. No. <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, so here are the ads. Uh, collision series. Of course, you guys are watching their Twitch right now. We also have a dual stream. At least we used to. I think we still do. Um, but check out our Twitter. Check out our YouTube. As you can see, all the VODs be uploaded there. And, you know, follow the Twitch. It, it supports the entirety of the organization. Yep, and if y'all don't know, you're here at Fusion, right here in Spectacular New Jersey. They got a good amount of players from talent of all skill levels. Y'all are missing out if you're gonna go ahead and not enter. Great stuff, great players run by Fantastic T.O. and as well as the commentary scene, as well as being able to host these streams. So, real appreciations. And speaking of that one, it's also the Xeno Weeklies with their ultimate House of 3000s. Every Wednesday, the venue's at 8, the entry's at 7. Y'all are missing out if you are a fool. If we're not going on there, you can follow them there on House of 3000 on their Twitch. But it'll be, go ahead and follow their, is there Twitch, is there Twitter account back? Uh Oh, Devin3000, that's where y'all are going to get all the um, the information, the updates of House of 3000, because he's kind of just become the hub for uh, that organization, which sucks. I mean, free House of 3000, I still don't understand why Twitter is being an absolute, you know, bum with that. But